you know it's a good day when you get a box from Subaru. So today we're going to be doing, I guess, the second round of Subaru mods on the Civic. Um, right here in front of me I have something very cool. We have a 04 STI hood scoop that we're going to be putting on. We are going to have to paint it, but we're going to mock it up too. Um, and if we want to come over here. We also have a roof rack, and then we're going to be putting the roof rack on Jordan's Forester on the Civic, and then we're going to put one of my 240 wheels in it or one of Robert's spares because it has uh, a winter tire on it, so then it'll look more off-roady. And then right here we have some... It wouldn't be a Subaru if it didn't have red mud flaps. So um, We also have some Subaru license plate covers because I put a front license plate on my car so I wouldn't get pulled over because I don't know, they're kind of strict about that now where I live so I guess we're gonna go mock up the hood scoop we're gonna do the good old more skids peanut butter and we'll start cutting into the hood getting called <laughs> into work tomorrow <laughs> guess who's gonna keep <laughs> You got the weird shadow going on, so I might back it up a little more. I guess that's how I'm digging that. Right here. We still need another rally. You can't be a rally car without a rally mirror. It actually blocks like three <laughs> feet of visibility. Yeah, it's good. I like how much it blocks it. It's really good. Alright, so I guess we'll do the peanut butter, and then we have our dots, and then we're going to make sure it's symmetrical, and then uh, I'll pick the video back up. The front end definitely looks a lot better with the scoop for some reason, but uh, here are the very not legit Subaru license plate boys. A bee just went in my car. Also got one in the back. I also got this whole new eBay exhaust. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's all the way back. I actually made a video on this, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I decided not to upload it. So, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably take my grandma for a drive in this later and get her reaction to two-stepping because she's never heard it before. But, we got the holes drilled, and you're not really going to be able to see it. But now I think it's time we get the angle grinder out, and we cut a hole in this john. Everyone's just looking at their fucking phones. If you can see, yeah, okay. So we left the the support in. So I don't know. We, we probably will just paint that black, but it's looking good. Um. I think we're going to paint this, and then while we're painting that, we'll also move on to, I guess, we'll start putting the roof rack together. So the roof rack is probably like five, four, five, six inches too long, so it's actually, we have to cut the bars. And they're riveted in, so I'm going to have to see if I have a rivet gun and shorten these, but I guess in the meantime... Uh, we're actually painting the wheels gold because you know, it's a super thing to have gold wheels So I think we're gonna jack up the front two and paint those gold and then after that we'll probably do the red mud flaps So the front mud flaps are in, secured them a little better this time and then I washed off the wheels because they were dirty so I'm going to bring those in the garage and then we'll spray those, put them on and then move over to the back. Okay, if You can't tell me here. that doesn't look oh, sick. Stop asking.
So I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like the gold wheels, but it's whatever. I guess it's a, a nice change from what it's been. Yeah, I don't know. The gold just, I don't know, the wheels are too small, so it looks like a tractor. This thing is heinous. Oscar said, yeah, th or that's awesome. Yeah, let's go. Why does that look so right? Um, we definitely need wheel spacers. What else? Uh, so after this, the next thing that I'm going to be buying are new speakers because the speakers in here are really bad. And after that, I'm probably going to get a new driver door because, you know, that's not too good. And I can't even have my door card in because, like, my window falls off the track right here because my window falls off the track right here. Um, so I think it's just easier to just buy a whole new door. And then I also wanna get new front fenders, like the unpainted ones. I probably won't put them on yet this year. And I also wanna get a new front bumper, just in case, you know, I I crash it in the winter or someone hits me. Uh, I'll have the new fenders already too. I don't know how well you can see but there's still like a good inch and a half on both sides that I can cut out. And then I don't like this gap. So I don't have any money right now because I'm broke because of the 240. But next chance I get, I'll get like some weather stripping so, so that there won't be that ugly gap and it'll look a little bit better. Um, when we do paint this World Rally blue, I'm just gonna use some Bondo and like mold it in and then I guess we just won't have the rising sun hood anymore but it'll be okay. Um, also when driving this like it's so big like I I, I don't know it, it, it's really weird to drive like that and then for the roof rack I don't know if I said this but the bar is like a few inches too wide so what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to like cut it and then re-rivet it back together. So I'm gonna do that, I guess. Hopefully that won't take too long. Well, I didn't think it'd actually work, but I did shorten it and rivet it. <laughs> I did shorten it and rivet it, but I don't know. It's like as tight as it goes and then you, you open your door and dog you can just come out but I mean yeah I, I guess it's stuck in the door so I can't really go anywhere this does a lot but uh Robert's working so I don't know that we'll be able to get his roof rack today yet so we might use Jordan's and then put my, one of my 240 wheels in it but I still have the other one to do so I got the roof rack and the wheel from Robert and I'm gonna try putting it on. Um, I say we have like 10 minutes left of light. How do you guys feel about it? In person, it's not bad, I like it, but it's just the wheels are really small and that one's kind of big. I might toss one of the 240 wheels on it and see how that looks, but let's give you a quick walk around, I'll try not to be too shaky. So yeah, I don't know. I, I guess my only worry was just that uh, my mount, my, my rails weren't gonna be sturdy enough, but with all this weight on here, it's good. I don't even have it like bolted down or anything. I just have everything sitting up here. I'm also gonna have to ratchet strap this down, um, but I'll do that later. This is where I'm gonna end the video. Um, also, another thing. I fixed like the fitment on my bumper. I know it's still a little off, but I put like some some wood over the crash bar and then I put the hella horns back in. In person you can see them pretty well but I think that looks a lot better. But uh, yeah I guess there's not really too much to do to the exterior anymore. Um, wheel spacers and then I do want to get fender bumper door but that will probably be later. But yeah like we also have a a light bar that we're going to be putting up here and then as for like 
the back. I wanted to originally get a chassis mount wing when we were gonna make it like JDM as heck, but then I decided that we were gonna go the rally route. Um, so yeah, there's not really too much more we can really do on the exterior. It's on lowering springs right now, but I wanna put a two inch lift on top of that. Uh, just give us a little more clearance for when we're jumping and rallying. So yeah, from here on out, it's pretty much just gonna be like interior mods, which we have a lot. And then, you know, like engine mods to make it faster and stuff. So yeah, I think that's, that's gonna do it. I can't really think of anything else I wanna say right now. I'm gonna take a break for a second. I guess I'll talk about the exhaust real quick. This is a DNA motoring four and a half inch tip, two and a half inch uh, just uh, cat back. So I went with the the two and a half because I figured the two step would be better and stuff. And I did make a video on this, but iMovie is being really dumb and I know I shouldn't really be using iMovie, but you know, I can't really justify spending a couple hundred dollars on an editor yet. But with the silencer in, it's like quiet, but it still gets like super raspy above three grand. Uh, right now I have the silencer out. It sounds a little bit Subaru-ish. Uh, I may put sound clips in, I don't know. I probably won't. But it's okay, you'll hear it in future videos. But I forgot to order a test pipe, so I had to buy one that didn't fit, bought another one, and then for some reason, like the two bolt flange was way too big, so I had to like cut it, RTV it all back together, and it doesn't leak really. Uh, my headers, the gaskets are bad, so you know, we get a little bit of leakage there, but it's not too bad. Um, I kind of prefer it without the sound, I don't know. It doesn't really sound that bad either way, but when I first got it, I like made the one test pipe work and then it was like rattling on things. It was just a mess, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you want to see more mods to the Civic, you want to see 240 progress, um, subscribe if you're new. If there's any mods, like if you have any suggestions for what we should do to the Civic, then please put them below in the comments, uh, open to anything it doesn't hurt so yeah uh i will see you in the next one and remember bros keep moving sideways